it's very humid outside so it's all very fluffy and frizzy and just doing its own thing so whatever but yes welcome back to the channel and today i do have a studio renovation video for you so this one's going to have some time lapses on it and i will just say excuse the first few time lapses they were actually done with an app called Lapsit, and i didn't realize how poor quality it was until we'd actually done everything and i'd reviewed the footage so i was really really disappointed about that but the time lapses towards the end of the video are better so i do apologize about the first few but yes it is another studio renovation video i am trying to get these done for you as quickly as possible i aim to get the next one up for you next week next wednesday um, and hopefully depending on how much footage i've got left and um, that will be the last one so you can actually see the finished thing in all its glory and not just what's behind me but this one i am concentrating on the ceiling so how we actually got the ceiling done how we got everything up there and also the sound booth as well and the frame that we actually put up for that a lot of people don't think that we actually built it ourselves and we did so this is proof everybody we built it ourselves and um, so that's going to be in this video as well so if you do like these renovation videos and you want to keep up to date with things that we are doing in the house do feel free to subscribe and click the notification bell down below so that you know every time I upload a new video. So let's get to it. As you can see behind me, I do actually have some plasterboard and we have some insulation as well. So we are going to be cracking on and getting this ceiling done. And we're going to be doing a time lapse so you can actually see us making a complete mess of everything. Hopefully by the end of today, the ceiling will be up and we'll be able just to finish off some paint and bits and pieces. from me so we do have some of the insulation up already it's just here and it's no longer echoey which is brilliant but we have held it up with some string for now until we actually get the plasterboard up there but I will just say it is so warm in here now that we've got this up I am actually sweating it is terrible so the insulation that we've used is like a combination wool it's an eco insulation so which is really really good it just means that it's a bit more natural than these sort of synthetic fibers one thing that we didn't actually realise was that it's actually cut into strips which are about 15 inches in width. We needed 17. But it actually worked out really, really well because we've just cut them into smaller bits as you could probably see. But I can just show you those in a second. And it's just making it a lot easier just to put it all up and it's a lot quicker for us as well. So I'll just show you like the little squares that we've actually been cutting out which are here. So I've cut loads of them so we can just get on, get it up, get the plasterboard up and then we will be back. our studio renovation so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do another little bit of a time lapse for you guys just so you can see us get started have a little bit of a tidy up first and um, the ceiling is all in if you didn't actually see the first video go and have a watch but I'll just show you the roof so it's looking really really good today we want to try and get up the sound booth so that we can get that done and we're also going to plaster a couple of bits and start painting hopefully so fingers crossed we'll make some really good headway by the end of the day.
quick update. We do actually need to go to the shop because we've realised that we've run out of nails, uh, which we need to actually put everything together for the frame for the sound booth. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop to B&Q, depending on what it's like, we might do a little video in there. But while we're there, we're going to actually have a look for some spotlights for sort of up in the roof as well, see what we can find there and just get any other little bits and pieces. I think we've run out of plaster, so we need to get some more plaster. So we are currently in B&Q having a look at lights and we've found some that we really like and they're not in stock. As usual, every time we come to B&Q and try and find something that we really, really like, it's just never in stock. But we've actually had a look at sort of where it attaches to the ceiling and we need it on the beams and it's a little bit too big so we're gonna go and have a look for something else. So yet again local B&Q has disappointed us so we've got a couple of bits that we need like the plaster and the nails and we're going to head off to a different B&Q about 30 miles away to see if we can find what we actually want. So we are on the way back home from B&Q we didn't actually end up traveling like 30 miles to a different one because we actually found some well, well, I actually found this random ball that was in the clearance section and it looked exactly like the one that we really, really wanted. And there was four of them, so we thought we'll buy those. And then we managed to actually get um, some just random pendant bits. So we're actually going to do a DIY and make it ourselves. So we are on the way home. We've got everything that we needed. It's about 170 pound down and two hours later, we're gonna get back into the studio and get doing our bits and pieces. As you can see, You've got all the bits in the back. We've got the door for the sound booth as well. So really excited. Dan's driving, obviously. But I will just say that I was ID'd because we actually bought some expanding foam. And I was ID'd because apparently I look like a small child who enjoys solvent abuse. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I wasn't. we weren't ID'd for the Stanley knife, but we were ID'd for expanding foam, which is always interesting. Um, but anyway, my camera is jumping around all over the place. So we're gonna get home and I'll put this back on at a time lapse and you can see us crack on with the rest of it.
it is officially half past five in the evening. We are starving, so we are going to go and get some food. But at the minute, we do actually have the frame up for the sound booth, which is really good. We've got the door on as well. Really, really happy. What we're going to try and do now, we're gonna have some food and then we're going to turn all the electricity off and try and get some lights up as well. Because we do actually have the guys come in to do the boiler tomorrow, which is really exciting, but we just don't want to turn the electricity off for them. So that's it for the second part of our studio renovation. So if you do want to keep up to date with things that we are doing and how we've actually got the studio to what it is now, do feel free to subscribe down below and click that notification bell so that you know every time we upload a new video. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!